do fix Nottingham Forest? And the first thing we need to discuss is Steve Cooper. Is he the long-term solution to that manager position? Do you need somebody, possibly a better manager? If so, who? What are your feelings towards Steve Cooper? I feel it depends on like where the club wants to go. Because if the club wants to like do a bit of a Newcastle or a Brighton or a Fulham, I don't think Steve Cooper's a man. Because mm -hmm. obviously he hasn't, he hasn't had any Premier League experience to start with. Mm -hmm. Um... I know Barton manager, he hasn't had any Premier League experience or European experience, has he? Uh, don't... Uh, no, he did. He, um... He did... Was it Sassuolo? He had something, um, I think, in the Europa League. Uh, Sassuolo... I don't, I don't know. Is it Italian side? Yeah. I wouldn't know. I don't really follow Italian football. Um, um, but he, I feel like Steve Cooper's not the man to take us to, like, Europa League... Okay. Even push to like Champions League or so. He's not, he's not the man to do that unless unless we get it like next year. Because I think I feel like he is the man for like the next few years, but not. It it just all depends on where the club wants to go. If we want to like just stick in the Premier League, be a bit safe. <coughs> but if we want to really push, I don't think he's the man. Mm -hmm. I know he's done so much for the club, but um. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I really don't know. It's it's a really tricky one because he could go into the um, Champions League, uh, Europa League, Europa, uh, Europa League Conference, Champions League and do really well. Mm -hmm. we, we just don't know because he hasn't had the experience there. So mm -hmm. I, it's a really tricky one. But I am going to say he's not the lo uh, long-term solution, no. Okay. Okay, I mean, the same was said in the summer, to be honest. When he was coming up to the Premier League, people were saying he hasn't got the Premier League experience. So we're going to have to see how he adapts to this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'll agree with that one. And we'll have to kind of we'll have to kind of see how, how he does. Moving on to the player side now. Because, you know, Cooper, he's very good for, you know, the, the short to mid-term sort of for the club. But the players at the moment, there are certainly players that need to leave this sort of group of players. And we're obviously going to touch on the guys that you signed in the summer in just in a little bit. But what players need, do you need to move on in the final couple of days of January? So, I feel like we need to move on in January. Obviously, Lingard will go in the summer. Yeah. But I'd love to see him go now. I just think he's just eating up finances at the club. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <coughs> but January, I can't, I can't really put my finger on someone who has to leave. Because okay. I feel like everyone we've got is just... Decent, but like every like you've obviously got your reserve players like Cafu, Lyle Taylor, who I'd like to see both maybe go out on loan or sold. Yeah. Um, I'd also like to see some of the youngsters go out on loan, get a bit of experience. Yeah. But apart from like Cafu and Lyle Taylor, I can't really see any first team players going. Okay. Maybe maybe someone who doesn't play. I'm just trying to think of players that just don't play at all because. Um... Most players, like Emmanuel Dennis, maybe, like yeah, for instance, that's a he just the thing is with Steve Cooper, the way he plays, he likes tall strikers that he can get it out to up top if he wants to play hoof ball. Mm -hmm. And do you know what? It's working quite well. Obviously, Chris Wood didn't have a great debut yesterday, no. but he had no training. Yeah, he doesn't know how to play in the system. So it's one of those things. But Owen Ee, for the like the last from. Boxing Day till he got injured. He was he was an incredible player against Chelsea, Southampton. It was a, he was a brilliant player. Even against Man United, he put up a few good runs. But I feel Emmanuel Dennis maybe he hasn't been. He scored one, I think, against okay. Villa. Okay. Um, but apart from that, I can't think of anyone else that I'd that I'd be like, oh, thank God he's gone. Maybe. I'm not a massive fan of either of the Huddersfield boys, Toffolo okay. and O'Brien, but I feel like they need to be given more of a chance. So mm. I'm not going to... I don't think anyone should go apart from Cafu, Dennis and Lyle Taylor. That's an interesting change from the Huddersfield lads because I know you were very glowing about O'Brien when you signed him. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll touch on him a little bit later. And then, uh, again, I hate saying this because you signed so many flipping players in the summer. But incomings in January, is there anybody else you might look to get in alongside the lads you've already brought in? So, I don't know if you've heard the rumours about Anthony Gordon. I, I have. I saw the group chat uh, yesterday. I will and I saw that were, not be a fan of that. I saw um, there, were split, there were split opinions of it. Yeah. Do you know, he's shown that he can be a good player, mm -hmm. but I think his head's not in the right place at the moment at Everton. Yeah. I feel like 
Have you seen like the video that all the Everton fans like I have shouting at him after the game and stuff like that? that yeah. So I feel uh, that probably might be a reason why he's playing really badly is he's under so much pressure at Everton. Mm-hmm. Like, if I was an Everton player right now, I just wouldn't be playing well at all if I was a good no, footballer. Yeah. Um, but I feel Wait. the goalkeepers that come. Uh, Originally, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quote on Anthony Gordon. Your initial reaction to signing Anthony Gordon was mint. I'll have him. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what's changed, Chaz? Um, the fact he's uh, been crap this year. Because uh, this was less than 24 hours ago. You wanted Anthony Gordon at the club. £60 million pound player, though. Um, yeah. More baller. Um, but, uh, I don't know. He's, he, he's a good player, don't get me wrong. <laughs> But, I've, I've put you right in it here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, min player, min player, min player. <laughs> min, min player, all right, there we go. Yeah, there's, yeah. The, uh, there's the uh, departing geese, Anthony Gordon. And then we look ahead to the summer. Wait, no, 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 I'm not finished. I'm oh, finished. you done? Oh, keep going. No, no, nah, 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 goalkeeper, mate. Okay. Goalkeeper, with Henderson injured, we need a new goalie. Do you want to know the two players that are... I know uh, you're interested with Kaylor Navas because I'm There's another one. Um, what's it called? A Croatian keeper. What? Lavakovic. Yeah, Lavakovic, yeah. Interested in him. I would love him at Leicester, by the way. Yeah, but he won't come Leicester. Who knows? No, because your club's falling apart. Thanks, mate. How'd um, you save Leicester City? That's what this podcast is. Oh, mate, I've already done that. <laughs> you need to do another video. <laughs> mate, I think it's coming. Um... Okay, so a goalkeeper. Which goalkeeper would you like? Well, obviously, Kaylor Navas, world-class yes, goalkeeper. Okay. Um, also, I quite like... I do you know I'd like a young keeper. Like Even like Bursic from Stoke would be an absolute great keeper mm-hmm. to have. He's played like 100 games for Stoke and he's only like 21. He's a great keeper. He's, he's a young lad, isn't he? Yeah, I've heard, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard differing things on him. Some people are really glowing of him and say, you know, he's a good keeper. Some are quite negative. Even something. Patterson from Sunderland, like if we can sign, I don't know how much they're going for though, because I think they're quite a lot of money. Are they? <coughs> yeah, and I don't think Forest want to sign a goalkeeper for more than five million quid. No. So. Especially if it's yeah. a young lad just to develop. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. there's a there's January stuff done. We look ahead to the summer now. Who do you need to bring in in the summer? Positions, maybe any names, you know. But it, say you bring in a goalkeeper in January. <coughs> <coughs> so obviously. <laughs> Who else do you need to get? Henderson's on loan. So, Henderson just wants to leave United. Everyone knows it. It's a common fact now. Oh. He wants us to leave. Because he won't get, get he won't get a game in the semi-finals, obviously, because of the loan rule in the EFL. Yeah. Um, so, I think that's that's going to annoy him a lot. And I think that's going to be the final straw for him. So, he'll want to leave. But it's all depending on how much United want for him. Yeah. But if United want a lot of money for him... I feel like I need to check who's on a six-month contract because my you either sign a goalkeeper that's quite young who's really good, or you just go experience in the goal. Well, yeah, if you department. get one of Navas or Lavakovic in January, then yeah. you sorted, won't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there is, is there anything else besides goalkeeper that you might need for the summer? Um, obviously a new centre half, maybe okay. because Nia Car is obviously injured. I don't know what he will come now if he is injured. Don't know how good he will be after injury. Because mm-hmm. obviously you have to get fitness back. He might be a bit like Fofana far and gets injured and won't be great and just keeps getting injured and injured. And he's selling for £70 million. That wasn't even a bad bit of business. Um, yeah, but, yeah, I feel I feel like there's some position that we really need to improve on left back. Lodi, mm-hmm. he is really coming on leaps and bounds recently. And I feel like, I think €25 million Euros is a lot for asking for Lodi. So if we can lower it to about... Seventeen and a half million. Okay, would you do that then? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do seventeen and a half million. I, I feel think, like that would I be a great signing. That'd be a fair deal. Yeah. So, say a goalkeeper, a new centre back. Do you have any names for me at centre back? Oh, you really put me in it. Here. I have put you on that one. Um, <laughs> um I'm not <sighs> Ben Godfrey. <laughs> I've really put you in that one for you to have to come no, up. No, no. Uh, so, if Everton go down, I feel like we need to see who goes down. We, it's because, a very good point, yes. Because if players go down, they might have a uh, relegation clause in their contract. They just don't want to play for the club. If they're good enough, they just won't want to play for the club. So, like, let's say Wolves go down. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Connor Cody, Kilman, players like that, we could like try and sweep it again well, for Everton, a decent Everton, price. If, if Everton don't go down and Wolves do, then Cody, I presume, will just go straight to Everton, won't he? Yeah, yeah, I think he will. But but so yeah, like teams like that, they might want to just sell their players. So uh-huh. I, I think we need to see who goes down in pretty much most top five European divisions for like a bit of a a look around and see what we can get. Also, I feel like we need another striker. Okay. Because I don't think... Aouni is a great striker, but he's not really playing up front. He's playing more on the wing nowadays. Okay. If you've been watching him, like, since he got injured, he was playing, like, left wing. It was, uh, it was actually half decent because what he was doing is using and quite a lot of strength to cut in. But I feel like Chris was not going to be great. Not a long-term one, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also... I'm going to try and think of someone else. Who, what else we need? So midfield sorted, I feel like. Scarpa, uh, Yates, Danilo, Mangala. Then we've got all four of them. Foyla, Kiate. Our midfield is sorted for the next two years, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel I feel like that's about it. We just need a striker. And we need to get some of the loans becoming permanent. And I think we're sorted. Right back sorted. Oh yeah, Nico Williams, both class. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel like we're going to be sorted. And then I want I'll do outgoings in a second, but I actually want to you know we'll do outgoings now before we touch on what happens if you do get relegated. What outgoings happen in the summer? I feel like some of the older players need to go. So obviously Lingard. Mm-hmm. I know he's not an older player, but he's just eating fine like I said earlier. Um, maybe Kiate, always injured. Okay. Which isn't great. No. Chris Wood, I know he's only on loan, but we just don't need to sign him. No. <coughs> Depending on business, Lodi don't need to sign him back up on loan. And Henderson, we won't need to sign him up back on loan. Uh-huh. Um, maybe even Wes Hennessy, let's see him leave. Okay. Because he's old and he's all right, but he's nothing special. Bit mid. Yeah. Um... No, no, I feel like that's about it. I feel like we don't need... Maybe one of the centre-backs needs to go, like, Steve Cook. Because he's on a lot of money. He's not played this year that much. I feel like he's just eating finance at the club as well. So, yeah. Okay, all right. And I then, feel like that could be the uh, outgoings. That could be the outgoings. Okay, and then we have a look at if you do go down. What players do you think will be poached? Uh, Gibbs White, Awinee, Foyler, Mangala... Yates, Warrell, mm-hmm. Lodi, Henderson, I know they're both on loan, Nico Williams, or oh yeah. Okay, 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 so a lot of guys. Could you give me some valuations on these, possibly? Just if you were to go down, what do you think you would try and get for these lads? Possibly any sides where you think they might go? I don't know, any of like the release, uh, no, not release clause, um, relegation clause in any of the contracts, so. Oh, oh do they all have relegation clauses, do they? Uh, oh, 100% most of them will, yeah. Because a lot of the players, like Gibbs White, he's an absolute amazing player, and I'll take. 150 million for him. I feel like that's a fair valuation. Uh, so, f- f- <coughs> 30 then. 45. If you go down, you have to accept 30 million for Morgan. 45. You, you ha- if you go- no, because no, if we go down and we sell him 30 million, we still make a profit. Because they haven't hit any of his um, add ons to make 42.5 million. Yes, there we go. You take 30 million then. Um, Johnson will go. He has a relegation clause of 17.5 million. He's looked. He's looked okay at times this season. I know he played really. Oh, he's getting a lot better now. He's getting a lot better it, now. Yeah. What obviously Johnson's one of you, one of your proper boys. Where do you think he would go? Newcastle want him. I don't know if they want him anymore. I, I don't know if he would go there, considering all the players they're looking. Especially if they were to get European football, I think they would go for a better um, than Johnson. Brentford. Like I can they, see that. Brentford love a youngster. Um, but if he goes to Brentford, he might become like Keen Lewis, uh, not, um, Lewis Potter, who. Just hasn't really been playing for Brentford. No, he hasn't. That's fair enough. <coughs> that is fair enough. Well, there is how to fix Nottingham Forest, or not fix it in some cases. I don't know. There's another 15 minutes talking.